This is my review of the Sika Design Blue Planet. Start off by showing you the watch. It's obviously got a unique look to it with that globe protruding out. Uh, the way you tell time on this watch is actually by finding the compass. So compass right now is between three and four. It's actually about 51. So I would say the time is 351. Uh, but you can see right away that looking at this watch at a glance, um, two things. First of all, it's very beautiful, uh, but it's not so easy to tell time on it. You've got to find that compass, which doesn't really stand out right away. And uh, if you want to get the exact minute reading, you're trying to look at those small minute markers, which I just find hard to read. There's also no loom on this watch. Um, that said, uh, some of the pros, uh, super, super comfortable. I know a lot of people are gonna be concerned about the size of this watch, but it is actually extremely comfortable to wear despite that uh, because of the way the lugs are uh, embedded and also because the strap is rubber and super flexible. So I'm gonna put this on real quick. Adjusts really nicely, um, you can take any um, adjustment you like and this isn't going anywhere and yeah it's a little bit big but it's actually very comfortable so size does not always tell you the whole story uh, I wanted to compare that to some other watches that that are even similar size or smaller that bother me quite a bit so here you've got the uh, Ikepod dual pod this is a much smaller watch and yet this one is way less comfortable on the wrist you got to make this thing really tight otherwise it's going to be rocking around and then I've got the Zarek NASA 11 watch this one I think is about a similar size on the face but just a lot heavier and larger so this one is also less comfortable speaking of weight this is the stainless steel version of the Blue Planet, and I'm super happy with it. I don't see any reason to upgrade it to the titanium, so I wanted to mention that. Uh, anyways, back to this. Yeah, this is a lot, lot less comfortable, so uh, you, can't, you can't just assume that uh, because it's large, you're not going to like it or it's not going to be comfortable. Uh, but all that said, I'm, I'm not so happy with the watch because uh, mo mostly of the price and, and legibility and, and movement so I'll go into that not so easy to tell time on this thing I find that I've got another single hand watch over here this is the solar lap Noman but even this one at a glance you could pretty much tell what time it is if you want to get exactly into the minute you might have to start looking at those little uh, tiny 10 minute in, uh, increments uh, this watch has a story of its own but I think this one's even harder at a glance to figure out what time it is uh, there's also no loom. I think I said that already. And uh, this comes with a modified movement. So let's go over that. Um, basically, when you rotate the hour, the minutes go around really fast. Uh, so I think it's like a ratio gear that was changed to make this happen. But under all of that, it is just a seagull movement. And you can get a Seagull Movement watch for about 200 bucks for a chronograph, mechanical chronograph. So this being something about $900 retail, I think it's just overpriced for what it is. Uh, but you know, if money isn't a concern to you or value, it definitely is a unique watch. Uh, I really like the viewing angle. Uh, you can see how the planet protrudes out and it's kind of hard to describe without seeing it in person but it does look really really nice uh, one more thing to mention is I found that it was hard to match this watch to my shirts or, or just to my dress so it'll look okay I never really found a shirt or, or a suit jacket or something like that where I put this thing on and it really popped so it looks really great on its own uh, but it just doesn't look amazing I think when I wear it out so doesn't look amazing no loom not an amazing movement um, hard to read 
and it's a lot of money. So for that reason, I probably won't be holding on to it. But it definitely is a nice watch. I think if this watch was more about two, three, maybe even $400, I'd be more inclined to keep it. And uh, I guess that concludes my review. Hope you enjoy.